at the foot of Lothric Car. It was used to if you <laughs> Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord. And this is my throne. Listen, this night, before I was the process of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul, a forbidden art that once left a foul stain upon Corlin's honor. Tis an art that grants powers once thought unattainable. Most transposing kilns were lost with Corland, but this place is a crossing for all manner of cursed objects. If thou happenst upon a transposing kiln, bring it to me, quick. Treat the firekeep. One, how may I be of service? Gracious, passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Ashen one. <laughs> oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> you can keep the ring as, <laughs> you can as, <laughs>
Goodbye. And stay safe. Oh, our champion of ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have, had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this, and assure you of my leal service. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. As I have said, alas, but I perhaps I'm a wee pillar though. Be safe. There you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you'll need a flame of your own. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the Great Swamp, and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> to learn pyromancies, I know and py <laughs> Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? 